What's going on everybody? It's Freddy Fazbear here from Fazbear Gaming, and today we're going to play a game called Poppy Playtime. Now I stumbled upon this game on Steam, which is where it's available on, because since that spooky time is around the corner, I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to play a horror game. So I skimmed through looking what would be good to play, then I came across this thing, and I thought it looked pretty interesting. So I bought the game, and here we are. There's not much to say, so let's get started. Ooh. Chapter 1, A Tight Squeeze As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally returned to the factory of many years after everyone with it disappeared. That sounds creepy. Ooh. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Ooh. Her name is Poppy. And she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little That's girl can cool. talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Ooh, let's see what they have to show. Ooh! Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl. And she talks like one, too. Hi! My name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Ooh. Just it's like rev real that's girl. revolutionary, but also kind of terrifying, Perfect. too. Thank you. I don't know what year Her this hair game is takes dirty place and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? 599! I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours Whoa. at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We oh, can what the? What? Huh? That was odd. I kind of got Freddy and Friends vibes from this. Poppy Playtime! Okay, so... Oh, everyone thinks the staff disappeared 10 years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Okay, so... Oh, okay, so what, what, what we learned from that, from that, from that cutscene is that this doll is, is, is technically a staple that it can actually communicate with the child. Which, that wouldn't be possible to... That which... Oh. What's going on? <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, this game looks good. Oh, press escape to pause. Okay, I can't. What is this? Uh, huh? Oh! Oh, press tab to view items. Okay, um, item. I picked up a green tape. Oh! Speak of the devil. How do I... Oh, I just press E. Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, what? We play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No, really? No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Okay. So, am I trespassing? Because this place does look like it's shut down. Ooh, is this, can I pick this up? No, I can't. Because, oh yeah, because there are these, there are the ply, there, there's those, there's plywood all of, on these doors. So, there are leaves everywhere, so... 
Do I just go in? No, I can't go through there. What is that noise? Nope. Oh, it's that train. Oh, there's a train on the ceiling. That's what's making that noise. It's the um, candy cat play toy. Well, what the? Oh, I can jump. All right. Oh, I can't click anything here. Eat healthy, like brood. All right. Oh, maybe I have to go through. Oh, I had to jump over. Darn it. Well, this place—it doesn't. Are these dark? It's so dark, I really can't see much. <laughs> oh, maybe I need to press that button so I can enter. Is anyone there? Well, I guess I should explore more. Well, there's this weird cat toy, which I think that's the cat that we saw earlier. What am I clicking? Press E. Oh! For this? Huh? What the? Oh, this is a puzzle code. <laughs> My favorite kind of puzzles. Maybe I could find it over here or something. I picked up a green tape, so maybe green is the first color code. Then the red... There's green, blue, hmm. or maybe I could find something over here. What? <laughs> look, would you look at that? The mouse is clicking through the computer. I'm gonna see something over here. Maybe the train can. Okay, maybe green, pink. Yellow, green, pink, yellow, red. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Alright, let's see what. Huh? This must be some. This must be a security office. What's this? Whatever. Oh, I found a blue tape! And it goes into here, I can assume. Rat pack? Oh. That's that's cool. Maybe that's the thing I need to use in order to open that door. Okay, so. Only fire at small objects and handles. Ooh, that's kind of graphic. Wires conductive, used for rewiring. Thank you. Oh. Use your grab, use your grab pack responsibly. What's the time? Play time. Okay, so. Ooh, what do we? Do I need to? Oh, use- Oh, that's- that's cool! <laughs> Let's just have a see- <laughs> Part of me tells me- Can I go in? No, I can't. Let's just use his hand to get through that door. I have to say, so far this game looks really good, and- I, I'm not sure who that character is, but- he kind of looks like Grover and Bendy mixed together. I don't know, that's just me. Alright. Oh, I have to hold it. Alright. Alright. Oh! Oh my gosh. Playtime. Whoa. Who's this? Huh? 
Huggy Wuggy. Let's, let's just do this. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Um, what's this door lead to? Whoa! Oh my! The what just happened? Well, that's just great. Well, okay, there's another door here, but I need a right red hand, and that won't work. Um, theater. That's locked too. I don't trust this got this thing one bit. And what the? What's he holding? Did I just grab a key? Oh, maybe that's the key to the theater. No. Let's try the cafeteria. No, again. Oh, the power. Do it. Ooh, this... I'm kind of getting Security Breach vibes. Oh! Oh, also guys, the re the new a new Security Breach trailer I just leaked. It's coming out in de on December 16th of this year. So all aboard the hype train! Toot toot! Oh. Um. No... Oh, here we go. Whoa! Oh! Jeez, I just yanked that thing. Grab, grab to divert power. Um. How am I supposed? How long am I supposed to hold this thing? Oh wait. Oh, I see. Um. Oh. Okay, so there's this. Yes, I was I was I restored the power. Now let's go. B uh oh. Where's I knew I couldn't trust him. Where did he go? Huggy Wuggy, don't be a naughty Wuggy! Come on! Alright, now let's go inside this little room. Maybe I can find the right hand in there. Oh gosh, that's... I knew that I, I couldn't trust that thing. Wherever it is... Ugh. Is this... Uh, I think I'm just gonna... Stairway to hell? What? Alright, well that- I'm not gonna go in there. This looks- I guess this is the only way in. Ah! Oh, it's just- it's just steam. Oh, gosh. Ironically, I buy a game from Steam, I get scared by Steam. Who's there? Oh, I thought I heard something. All right, yeah. Creepy music is never a good sign. Okay, I need a or yellow table. Or wait, that's an orange one. Maybe I can find it in these boxes. Mm. No, that's just a part. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I can find it up here. What I just grab? Um, is that right though? I guess that's right, but God, get off! All right, all right, guys. I think I found a bug where the the, the, the left hand would get stuck. Okay. Um. 
I don't know what I'm supposed to do, so I guess I can drop down and get those power boxes or those fuses. That was really strange. <laughs> and luckily, it all saved right when I was started here. So that was nice, at least. I just need to find the other one. Um, it should be... I think I already looked... Oh, this is a secret pass. What will this lead me to? Oh. Alright, this opens it's opened enough. In the meantime, I'll just install these last boxes. To find until I can find the other one. Huh? What was that? Alright, so I think we're getting a little close to finding this. Wait, I think I saw something. Wait, that doesn't, that looks like... It's right there, what the... Darn it! There we go! Now I can install the last fuse. Yes! Let me just grab it. Yes! <laughs> I I finally have hands! Now let's just press these buttons. Oh, on. Alright, now I might have to go in here. <sighs> To complete circle, okay. I see. I'm trying to grab it, but nothing's happened. Oh, I see. Unless I have to do like some. Oh, darn it. Can't see this. This is not good. Oh, dear. oh, what the? Oh, what the heck is going on? Ugh. Come on, I'm not. I'm, I'm an animatronic. I'm not garbage. Stop it. Where am I going? Whoa. What? Where am I? Nobody leaves without a toy. That's kind of a corporate move right there. Um, let me see. Uh, make a friend, 1960. Our founder, Elliot Lovelock, was a visit was a was a vi visionator. He set the stage for all of Playtime corporate in its greatest feats. Yet of all the amazing things that he uh, blah blah blah. 
the make of Mickey Free Machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly every playtime quote toy sold on the market up to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts, and it will then paint, assemble, and do quote. It will then paint, assemble, and do a quality inspiration of the toy all, all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or backbreaking labor. This machine can do all of that and more. Okay, so this. Well, first, this machine needs power, obviously. I can. I guess I go over here. No, this is. Yeah, that lever seems jammed. Alright, um. Crap, I didn't pick- oh, I forgot I didn't pick up that orange tape. Oh, that looks like a long way down. There's no way I'm taking any chances. How did I not do- I should have done that- sorry about that. Well, I know how to waste time. Darn it. Okay, uh... Well, rats. Darn it. I better be careful because this looks like a quite a dangerous place to be at. Oh, wait, I see something over there. Is that a tape? Yeah, it's another tape, all right. Let's play it real quick. See what it has to offer. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling, too. Sometimes, though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Yeah, that <laughs> is kind of true. Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things, though. Like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than the person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? Alright, I think we're getting a little off track. Yeah, I mean... I, I, okay, so... Let's get back to trying to get the, the power restored. Oh, I've been doing that for more than 20 minutes! Oh my gosh! Now we can finally make some progress! Oh gosh, I hate when, when games do that when they have these confusing puzzles that can take more than 20 minutes. Ugh. Well, there's not much to do other than just power this stupid machine up. That looks freaky. Oh, I have to pull the lever. Here we go.
could see how it was fine. The fuck the face in it. It just needs to be assembled. Those things look a bit creepy. Especially for a work environment. But anyways, despite this game's in the way puzzles, it is pretty good. Though I wish it was some scares. What the heck? What the? That's some advanced, um, make toy check right there. I don't know what year this, this, this game takes place in, but I'm gonna assume it's, it takes place after 19, either in the 80s or 70s. I really don't know. Alright! Well, I just put it here. Awesome! Okay, so uh, I think this is where I leave. No, this is one. Nope. All right, let's go. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh my gosh! It's Hoggy! Oh! Oh! He's right there, and okay, he does not look friendly. Uh, oh gosh! Okay. Okay, Hoggy. I'm sorry. I trespassed your place. Just don't hurt me. Don't eat my face. Oh gosh, no, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Huggy Wuggy just went from cute and cuddly to big and terrifying! Isn't he wonderful? No! Oh, oh my gosh! I don't, I don't want to do all that. Oh, okay, and I'll say so. Let's just. Oh! <laughs> Oh god, that's okay. Do I go through there? Okay. Um, it doesn't look like you can get through. The fact I can't. Okay. It's good. Now I don't have to worry about it. Let's just. Oh my gosh! Oh, okay. Oh gosh! Let's go. Oh god! Oh my gosh! Don't let them inside. What kind of. I'm like, how did he even get in? I mean, I went inside and it, I got lost for words. Oh, my throat hurts from that. Oh, God. Okay, that is, that is terrifying right there. That is... What, I go through it? Oh! Don't. Oh, my gosh! What's like the... Oh, my God! Get away! Get away! Go faster! Oh, here we go! Oh, 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 that is seriously terrifying! And I thought my games were scary! And the idea is, I'm supposed to be the scary bear, but... I'm the scary bear right now! I'm shaking right now! Yeah, just go away! Go away, I know! You're big and bad, alright! That is serious, that, that's scary right there. Oh, the music is though. The music just adds the intensity. Alright, what's the way do I go? Do I just go? Do I go through? No, 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 no! What? Oh, darn, I went the wrong way! <laughs> oh, go faster, go faster, go faster! <laughs> I saw that bed right there! I think, oh! Which one do I go? Which one do I go? Which one? Come on! Come on, just move it! Just go faster! Faster! Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? What the? Oh, where's this? No scrape! Grab it! Grab it! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, what the? Oh my god. god. Yeah, that's blood. Huggy Wuggy just went from... Uh, I can't even think of names for him right now. Holy crap. 
This game seriously has the potential of being as big as my franchise. It really does. Oh, the fact that it can scare me. Oh, my throat hurts from all that yelling. That was probably the most intense scene I've seen in a horror game. Where do I go? I don't like this one bit. Oh, another tape. All right. Uh... Oh, there's another. There's another TV. Maybe I can find. Maybe I can find more information on that thing. Why would the heck would they design a toy that could literally have fangs in its mouth? What? I don't know what the heck is going on. Final log. In relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... End of what? Okay, so what we learned from that tape is that, that the thing that was chasing us that was the prototype of uh, of one of the toys, and apparently it, it went haywire, it got possessed of some sort, it grew veins, and it just started killing everything in its sight. And, Jesus, just... Uh, no, no, stop, go back, run, danger, turn around. Parby, Parby wants to, to turn around, but Parby wants me to go inside. I'm getting the shiny vibes from this. Oh god, no, no, there's... Oh, these are stairs. Okay, I'm definitely getting the shiny vibes. I don't know why there's a creepy beast of black He's in here, isn't he? the doll that we saw earlier are you asleep in there are you a are you alive huh what the what just happened you opened my case are you mad okay so Alright, that's the end of chapter 2, so this game uh, managed to scare even me. I mean, I don't really get scared that much in horror games, but never has there been a game, a horror game. I haven't, I haven't panicked that much in a horror game since, I don't, I don't know. But this game is definitely worth checking out, and if you want us to play this game more, then let us know in the comments. And if you, and, if, and once chapter 2 comes out, hopefully in a couple months or so, then let us know who you, who you want, who you want the next character to play the next chapter so this is free fans we're signing off saying i hope you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and if you like what you saw be sure to hit the subscribe button don't forget to share it with your friends if you don't want to miss out on future uploads whether it be fast for gaming um our, our show or whatever just click the notification bell next to the subscription button and that way you'll you'll be notified every time a new video is released i'm gonna get going and get some more because my voice hurts and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye